So by now you've seen how to create a page using the default templates in Brightspace. And you've also seen how to download the new daylight templates for Brightspace. And I want to show you what uh, impact using those, those new daylight templates uh, can have on a page. As we're getting started here, I'm going to take a look at my Survey of American Literature class that I'm working on. And again, I've got some lecture notes that I want to post to the students to make sure that they're taking a look at them and kind of getting some of the key ideas and being able to refer back to it throughout the semester as well. Now, if you remember, one thing I want to make sure I've done when I start working in a course in Brightspace, if I want to use uh, really any templates, but in particular if I want to use those uh, built-in templates, from anywhere in the content section, doesn't matter what module you're on or anything like that, come over to this Settings button in the top right corner, the little cog icon. And again, first of all, you want to make sure that Enable HTML Templates is selected. And then you want to make sure, if you're going to use the Daylight Templates, that you've identified the correct folder for that. So again, just to check on that, we can click on Change Path here. And I can see right there that I've, I've got the Brightspace HTML template already selected, so I don't need to make any changes there. All right, so if you remember, again, I've got this module called Lecture Notes. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. Again, that's what uh, Brightspace refers to as creating basically a web page within this content section. And I get the, the blank visual editor screen. Now, remember, with templates, we want to uh, select and kind of load the template first before we start putting any content in. I'm going to go ahead and give this a title because it's going to fuss at me later on if I don't. And then right next to that field, I'm going to select a document template. And now if you'll remember from the other, uh, the default templates, you don't have as many options. And to be honest, the, the options that are there are not as kind of useful sounding. Right? So you've got, a, you've got a lot more to work with in daylight. Um, in addition to it, I think, being a, a slightly more attractive design, right? So you can go with a blank page. Um, you can go through these and just kind of see what they look like. And again, you can use them however you want to. Most of the time, I like to use just the basic page option here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we can see that loads right there. And again, it's just the basic template uh, for uh, this uh this model, right, the basic page. It's got that built-in kind of desktop image and some layout, and it's got some information in it as well in terms about, uh, you know, copying and pasting uh, text with formatting. And you do want to watch out for that. It can be a little, little confusing. The undo button, I think as Janice has said before, is your best friend in this visual editor. So, so I copied all of the text straight from the, the last page that I was working on, the, the original page that I worked on in Brightspace without any real formatting at all. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go ahead and select all of their text because we want to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this little note at the bottom as well. And you'll notice down here the option for a logo as also. So you want to leave that uh, bottom footer. But I've selected all that, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do a paste, and let's see what happens. And it came over pretty well, right? Things seem to work out, right? It's, it's, it's captured the heading, right? Um, but it's changed it to the new style. Some things we can see here, those bullet points are a little more spaced out. And again, the table is, I think, nicely, more nicely formatted. So I'm going to go ahead and just to see how this looks, go ahead and click on Save and Close. All right, so it's come over pretty nicely, right? Uh, the fonts have changed, uh, the headings have changed, but uh, were properly captured, which is great uh, for pasting it. Uh, if I switch over real quickly to uh, my earlier class that I'd started with, this is what this list kind of looked like to begin with. Right? Just basic text, you know, bold headings, um, real small bullet point text, right? That was about it, right? 
So there's a pretty dramatic difference when I apply the, the, the Brightspace Daylight template to this. Now again, it comes built in with these nice header images, um, but if you want to customize things a little bit for your course, it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this image. And you see it gets that kind of red highlighting here. And down here at the bottom, it's a little hard to see because of the text, but there's a new kind of context menu that has popped up. Uh, I'm not going to mess with any of those buttons, but I'm going to click on the image options, this kind of three bar button. And I'm going to switch over here to upload. And I'm going to drop in the image that I set up to use this. You'll notice the, the dimensions, right? Um, for these header images, um, they should be about 1200 pixels long. Um, they shouldn't be more than three or 400 pixels uh, tall. Otherwise, you're going to you're going to take up kind of the whole screen with with the header image, and I don't think you want to do that. All right, and it swaps it right out uh, there as well. I think that's a more appropriate image for a class in early American literature. Unfortunately, it is all just a bunch of old white guys. But we can fix that a little bit, again, by decorating this. And there are my newly stylized lecture notes. I could probably have a few more images there. And again, I need to work on that gigantic table. But we can see the difference, right? We go from this to this. We're supplementing with imagery, but we're really not adding extra content. What we're doing is making this more stylish. We're making this a little more attractive. Um, and I can create kind of a custom theme now going throughout. So all of my lecture notes may have this image at the top so that when the students load the page, they're going to recognize it right away as, hey, there's that image of, of those old white guys sitting around talking. That must be the lecture notes.